let's jump right into testing and creating our first Get All Customers web service. Let's create a class, a new class, in a package called Controller, and the class is called Customer Controller. And then we annotate our Customer Controller class with the REST Controller annotation. And as we talked about in a previous episode, all the methods are going to have the same URL, so we can simply specify slash customers as the URL for our REST controller. Then we create a new method, public list customers, customers, and it's our controller method to retrieve all customers annotated with the get mapping annotation. Get mapping annotation corresponds to an HTTP get. And inside the method, we write service find all customers and the field service, or even better, the class does not yet exist, hence we need to create it. And I'll let you know why we use the customer service in the first place in a couple of seconds. So let's put the customer service class in a package called service. Inside, we annotate the class with the add service annotation so that Spring Boot finds it when it boots up. And here comes a little trick. We just go back to our customer controller class and create a new field, customer service service, with the auto wired annotation, and then hit Alt Enter on the find all customers call, which will create the method in our service class. And maybe we change the return null to return collections empty list, so our service always returns an empty list instead of a null. And at this point, we could start our application, open up a browser, enter localhost 8080 slash customers, and we'll get back an empty list. But I'd like to show you how to use Spring Boot's testing facilities to automatically test our REST controllers without having to do anything manually. So let's go back to our customer controller class. Let's hit the key shortcut to create a test class. And it's going to be called customer controller test and then annotate the class with two annotations first the run with annotation with a value of spring runner saying please launch the chair unit test with a spring runner which will initialize everything for us and a web mvc test annotation with a value of customer controller class our controller to test and what that means is that Spring will allow us to test the customer controller class without having to start a full web server environment, which is quite nice. Now, what do we want to test? What I want to test in here, I want to know if the controller can actually serialize and deserialize my customers. And in our example, to JSON or to XML or whatever, really, because most often there's some problem because something is not configured correctly, an annotation is missing something like that. And also, in this test, it doesn't matter what the customer service does, if it gets the customer from a database or from somewhere else. And there's a nice little Spring Boot annotation, which is called MockBean. And we can simply create a mocked customer service for our test, and Spring will automatically inject it into our customer controller when we execute the test. And while we're at it, let's create a field called mock MVC, which is the class which allows us to call our REST controller API without doing real HTTP calls like using an HTTP client for our test. Now we create a new test, maybe call it customers can be serialized correctly. And then inside, I'd like to create a new customer, give it a new birth date with some local date, really, and set the first name to John, then set the last name to Snow, and set the status to Fraudster. So that's our customer. And in the test method, we will simply specify that when our controller calls the customer service find all customers class method, the mock customer service will always return just our one customer, John Snow. And now it comes in quite handy that we created a customer service which will which we will later use on to 
do database queries. So we can simply mock whatever it does and let the controller do its work. And again, just once more, I want to emphasize, I want to test the controller if the mappings are correct, the URL is okay, and if the controller can serialize and deserialize our Java object into JSON. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to call MVC perform, and we want to perform a get call against the slash customers URL. We tell the server we accept application JSON, and we expect an HTTP status of OK. And we also expect JSON content. And the JSON content is going to look like this. So we're going to have a first name, John. We're going to have a last name, Snow. We're going to have a status fraudster. And we're going to have a birth date. And I want the German date format here, so the 1st of January 2000. And as you can see, it always makes sense when you inject the language in IDEA. So in this example, we can also use the editor to edit the JSON and not have to worry about quotation marks and whatnot. Now let's run our test. It compiles, it runs, but as you can see, it fails. And if we look at the output of the test, we can see that actually Jon Snow and Fraudster is in the server response, but the birth date did not get serialized correctly. And we can change that by doing two things. First, we go back to our customer class and add a specific annotation to our birth date field and say it's going to be of shape string and the pattern is going to be the German date pattern day.month.year. And for the annotation to work, we also need to add another Maven dependency to our pomxml. So let's go to our pomxml and add the Jackson data types 310 annotation. Good. Now let's see if that works. Let's run our test again. And this time it works. Perfect. Congratulations, you just wrote your first and also tested your first REST service. And we'll continue writing all the other needed REST services for our CIM system in the next episode. So stay tuned. And meanwhile, you can open up the HTML for this series and try out the REST call in your browser.